up bros good morning to everyone out there in youtube land we are about to go thrifting today so this is going to be a trip to the thrift i just packaged these orders so i'm going to go ship these off um yeah i'm gonna make some breakfast i ooh, i have waffles maybe i'll make some waffles Today I'm going to be using the f4 lens because a lot of you guys actually complained recently when I was using the f1.4 because the depth of field is so shallow that the focus gets thrown if I move the camera too much. So I'm going to use the f4 lens and I'm going to try to use that in more trips to the thrift. Usually I have the 35 1.4 on my camera just because I'm ready to take pictures at all times. You know, you got to be ready when you're out in the field in the trenches. But I will use the 24 to 70. Um, it's kind of weird because I had no one complain at all about me using the f1.4 lens until the most recent video. Anyways, enough jibber jabbing. I'm going to make myself some waffles and hit the thrifts. It is time to find some yoga flame. Man, I started eating, I almost forgot to film. Delicious organic waffles, organic bananas with some scissor. We have just arrived at the Kent Value Village. Normally I hit the Tequila one first, but Tequila has not been coming through, so I'm gonna hit Kent first today and hopefully they come through for me. They are charging $13 for this Bob Marley tea and it currently looks like they are arguing about this discount thing going on. It's 50% off clothing, but not anything else, so. But yeah, man, $13 for this Bob Marley tea. Like, that's a dope tea, but 13 bucks. Damn, the Blink-182 tea, that's super dope. However, the neck has some fading, the screen is cracking, so I'm definitely not gonna cop it for that price. Look at this super dope AC DC tea. Definitely a crucial fucking piece. I'm gonna have to swoop this for sure. Dope, 10 deep tank. What, you already know I'm copping this. That's so sick. Yup, yeah, you already know HFV's about to have you guys right for the summertime. Damn, look at this freaking Asian embroidery right here. You have this beautiful mountainous region with all these little uh, religious symbols. You got the Jewish symbol, Tibetan symbol, or Buddhist symbol, I should say, the yin yang. Super dope. When I go through the button ups, I'm really just hunting for Pendletons. Pendletons, 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 and certain Ralph Lorenz. Like, we only try to cop like the dope Ralph Lorenz or the vintage ones. But yeah, those are really the only two main things I'm searching for right now primarily the reason I do this is because time is money people time is money and really going through all these takes forever so I try to speed it up by searching for what I know is a uh, good money you know I do see a lot of off-brand dope button-ups when I do this and sadly um, those things don't sell as quickly as other brands. Is that alphanumeric? Damn, that's kind of crazy to see that. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Now I just need to make sure that there's no moth holes. And if there is not any moth holes, I will definitely cop this beautiful wool Pendleton with the crystal ball buttons. Damn, the minimalistic fishes get you hella bitches button up though. Shout out to Paul Cantu for the phrase. You guys already know the short sleeve button down i really need to cop this dang the vans off the wall short sleeve flannel this thing is a super dope colorway i definitely need to cop this Ooh, that canary yellow polo ralph lauren i don't know why i almost like couldn't say the word polo anyways canary yellow polo ralph lauren of course you have the drop back side splits high fashion as food easy fucking season however i'm not gonna cop this because the fabric is actually kind of peeling right now so i'm gonna have to pass damn the super clean Creme de la creme, embroidered Fubu Boys, Fubu T. You got the Fubu logo right there. You already know we definitely have to pick this up. Damn, this doesn't just have one eagle. It doesn't just have two eagles. It's got three eagles. This is definitely patriotic as fuck. And I'm gonna have to see this. Never mind, they're taxing. They're charging like $3 per eagle. Super dope vintage champion pullover. You have the champion little logo pull tab right there. All right, guys, just got to my brother's house. Hi, Justin. My mother actually interrupted my thrifting experience because uh, she let me know I was going to the, and she was going to my brother's, so I had to drive all the way back to meet her so I could see my brother before I go to Europe. But real quick, we got a surprise unboxing for you guys from Profound Aesthetic. Uh, my battery might die, I really hope it doesn't. Hey, 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 someone's doing an unboxing right now. <laughs> hey, shout out to the homie Mitch. I hope you enjoy the jacket, man. Keep living the star life, fam. Excited to hear what you think of this piece. I'm excited too, Mitch, because I'm really stoked on this jacket. Thanks, bro. Uh, so yeah, a little handwritten note. And then we got this beautiful jacket right here. I'm gonna have to unwrap this thing and show you guys how it fits. And then we are gonna get back to some thrifting. My battery's about to die. So I will have to stop by the Cribo and pick up a new battery. All right, guys, this is how the jacket fits on me. Profound aesthetic. You got the little thing thing right there the thing thing right there and then you got this thing thing on the back and you got those straps i'm not sure if you guys can see it. let me make sure you guys can see that 
Bam, this thing fits super good. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you, Profound Aesthetic. I love you. Anyways, back to the thrifts. All right, guys, we are here at Value Village with it's John. the fireworks stand. Isaiah here. Is it? What up? All right, just so you guys know, Johnny actually thought this said Mariners. Um, I don't know if you guys can read that, but it's okay. Uh, you know, my spelling is horrible. This is just a TCC alumni right here. Uh, <laughs> damn, John just brought up a good point. He actually thought this was a Hunger Games hoodie at first, <laughs> but no, nah, just patriotic eagle flame right here. No big deal. Damn, son, look at you. Looking like a Ninja Turtle. So dope. The entire trip is worth it just for this, even though they do not know how to read. Clearly, that's a small, they put a size medium. Anyways, flying coffin tea, super dope. Little Virgin Mary with the alien. This thing is so sick. I'm kind of mad that this probably won't fit me. I wish this was like a large, but dang, I'm definitely gonna cop this and put it on the site. All right, guys, we just got done at the Tacoma Valley Village. Like usual, I found almost nothing in there, but I did find uh, two pieces of yoga flame. And we are, why do I keep looking back? I keep looking back and I forget that I have the rear view camera now. I don't need to look back anymore, guys. I'm fucking balling now. We have arrived at the Tequila Value Village. Isaiah actually left his keys at the last Value Village. He's kind of sad. We don't know where they are. It could be in his car or it could be in the store. But anyways, as you guys know, anytime I come to Tequila, I need one of the dairy-free bubble teas from the place in the South Center Mall. But yeah, we're gonna get in here, find some heat. Ooh, the vintage FUBU Sports fleece hoodie right here. Definitely gonna scoop this, damn. You guys can see Isaiah actually <laughs> just found this piece right here, this dope little Adidas sweater right here. Super dope, look at these uh, stripes down the sleeves, all cut and sew action, high fashion as fuck. You got the zipper pockets, super nice right here. You got a little zip up right there so you can cover up the neck region, hide them hickeys, hickey hider action going on. Then we have this codeine perp North Face right here, super nice once again. However, they are taxing on this, so I might not pick this up because low key, this is what we would have to charge us to make some money. What is something that you can do everywhere that is four letters? <laughs> I was gonna give the winner a free Lambo, but hey, it's kind of a trick. He uh he. he well, didn't I guess the answer is Uber. I'm sorry, guys. It's well, Uber. it's okay. You just don't, don't get the fuck Lambo. Uber. <laughs> Short sleeve Pendleton flannel, definitely a nice find. I love finding Pendletons in the thrifts. Really dope Vans T66 on the forehead. Then we got this Ben Trill T that. Oh, I can't it does make you look kind of trill, but it does look kind of small. But I'm probably not gonna cop because we think it's just fake. Don't let Trevor get a hold of it. Um. I don't know. We don't know if it's fake or not, honestly. I mean, it's got the Bitrill Mall Rats. I just feel like the sublimated dye is done really shittily. So I'm probably going to pass. Yo, guys, peep the Heli Hansen off-white collab, though. What the fuck? Damn, I might have to pick this up for my personal. This is kind of dope. Yeah, Yeezy season, no big deal. All right, we found another lifeguard hoodie, and actually, they brought up a good point. This is what, like, all the preppy females back in the school days used to wear. Like, I swear, every white preppy girl had this hoodie and it's like why you're not even a lifeguard like you barely know how to swim but you all have this fucking lifeguard hoodie why why dang isaiah coming through with another fine this freaking kiss baseball tee though damn that's, that's ill johnny trying on a jacket that's way too small <laughs> recently discussing um what we would do to have sex with the woman on Isaiah's shirt, Nicki Minaj. And uh, John here thought of a pretty, uh, pretty uh, untasty, unsavory treat. Look at her ass though. I didn't mean to interrupt, but nigga, I see ass I it's like on man. He's like, I swear he's like, he's like my twin. Cause that's what I do. I actually, Damn. I think you guys have seen it in halls where I've been doing a haul and I've like paused to like point out a girl's Just ass or like look at a girl's butt in a video. Anyways. John, what would you do to have sex with Nicki Minaj? Man, I told him that basically I'd lick peanut butter off a of bum's toes. And he's <laughs> yeah. gonna show you what the bum looked like. Yeah, the guy literally looked like the dude from Duck Dynasty. Yeah, the racist one. Well, I don't know. Maybe they're all racist, but he you guys know which one I'm talking about. He can call me a nigger, too. I wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> if it's for Nicki Minaj, I'm licking peanut butter off the toes for that booty, man. Isaiah, what would you do to have sex with Nicki Minaj? Shit, man. I don't know, man. I don't. I really... Would you match that or would you do more? I think I might do more. I might do like the toes and then I might slowly progress to like the under the cheese. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what? Like the gooch area. Oh, oh God! No. Gross! Mm -hmm. Gross! Never! Never! <laughs> you went too far. 
The glue's are too far. Hey, hey Nikki, I hope you see this. <laughs> <laughs> Have you see this shit? Close oh my corner. god! Would you eat pork? Um, I would not give up my vegan ways. Um, not, to, not to bang Nicki Minaj. No, man, I really want it, dude. That's uh, that's where I just don't, I don't go. I mean, I would do some, like, I would definitely do the peanut butter off the toes. Um, pork maybe like centrally dollars. lick his uh, his ankles. Oh, okay. But nothing above ankles. That's just yeah, like, right. you know, that's nothing above ankles. But, you know, yeah, you guys ain't like, no fun. <laughs> you, know, you know this. I'm man not, I'm not even touching his the back of his kneecaps. That's you just know this gross. Dude, he hasn't taken a shower in years. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. You saw how dirty his arms were? Like, Damn, bro. Looked this like man. he just got done like cleaning out an exhaust of like a He's diesel right. truck man. with his whole arm. He deserves, he deserves <laughs> an extra. Shit. But, but anyways, but, but guys, we're about to get into the thrift free haul. What would you guys do to have sex with Nicki Minaj? Let me think. know in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that like button. Let's get into this thrift free, this uh, recap haul. Whatever the fuck. Uh, bros, welcome to the Star Life and welcome to the Thrift Recap. I actually had to refilm this because I feel like the last one was too long and I want to start doing these a lot quicker. So, anyways, before I get into any of these items, if you want to purchase any of them, make sure you check out hfv.bigcartel.com. That is hfv.bigcartel.com. And if you sadly miss out on any of these items, make sure you follow the official Instagram so that way you do not miss out on these items in the future. The official Instagram is HFV official. While you're following shit on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, which is at the Star Life. My feed is dope as fuck, and I got a ton of dope content because even though this thrift video or this trip to the thrift was filmed before we went to Europe, we actually just got back from Europe, and I have tons of pictures from Europe. Plus, I got tons of vlogs coming. So if you want to see that content, make sure you subscribe, like this video, show some support, and uh, yeah, let's get into this thrift recap. First piece was actually not in the video, however, I got it previously, which is this really dope polo Ralph Lauren little vintage floral button up, super freaking dope. Then we got this really clean Vans flannel. Next, we got this super sick Helly Hansen off-white collab. Not really off-white collab, but super dope. As you can see, you got the off-white S stripes going down the sleeve, so we know where Virgil Abloh stole that from. Just kidding, guys. I know some off-white supporters gonna be in the comments like, he didn't steal anything. He's an artist. Don't really care, but yeah, super dope, super cool look. Of course, it is summertime. It's August, so I had to get you right with the 10 Deep Tank. 10 Deep is super dope, and on top of that, it's Paul Cantu's favorite color. Motherfucking cheetah print. Once again, shout out to Paul Cantu for the phrase, but we got the fishes get you hella bitches short sleeve button up. I'm sure Paul Cantu would be very proud of this fishes piece or this fish's garment. ACDC Banty, always a must, especially dope ones like that that you don't see every day. Flying Coffin Tee, this is like one of the dopest flying coffin tees I've ever seen. Then we got the FUBU Boys Creme de la Creme embroidered tee right here, super fucking sick. You got the big FUBU logo embroidered on the very center chest with FUBU in cursive signed below. Super clean orange sherbet Adidas track jacket right here, definitely a clean colorway, super clean track jacket. I love finding Adidas in the thrifts. Then we got some more Adidas in the thrifts, really clean little fleece. Now the next Adidas piece is like one of the dopest Adidas pieces I've ever seen and I don't even know if I want to sell it yet to be honest. It kind of looks like something Adidas and Palace would do, but yeah, it's a super dope Adidas crew neck. As you can see, you got these stripes going all the way down and you got these stripes going down the sleeves. So not only did I find a Helly Hansen off-white collab, but I got the Adidas Palace collab? What? That might have to be the title of this video. Anyways, really freaking dope. I might not sell this. If I do, it will probably be a little tax just because this piece is fucking dope. I'm gonna try it on, see how it fits on me. It is a size medium, so I will let you guys know. The only reason I might end up selling it is because I hate ribbings. And if this is not long enough for me to rip the ribbings off, then I might just have to get rid of it. More band apparel, we got the Kiss three quarter sleeve baseball tee. We got the Canary Yellow Polo by Ralph Lauren with the uh, freaking side slits and the drop back. I just saw in the comments the other day, someone was like, I hate the way you say Ralph Lauren. Guys, I just say it like that to accentuate the Ralph Lauren high fashionness, okay? Super dope vintage Pendleton wool flannel, and as you guys may know, if you don't, I will put you on some game, edumacate you real quick, but the wool Pendletons actually go for quite a bit. Brand new, they go for anywhere from 120 to 200. However, two things, I do not support buying wool or leather brand new. I'm not trying to tell you not to go do that. If you wanna go do that, whatever you do. I personally don't, but what I would say is that the big reason for you not to buy these brand new, even if you do not care about buying wool or leather, is that you don't need to spend 120 to 200 bucks because I'm constantly searching for these things all the time and I love finding these and usually I sell them anywhere between 20 and 30 bucks. Anyways, the next piece, super fucking fire once again. 
extra yoga flame in this bitch. We got this super dope fleece embroidered FUBU hoodie thing. Super savage, super sick. And then the last piece of the trip to the thrift is a super dope clean champions pullover. Definitely a sick piece. You got the little champion logo pull tab right there. But yeah, I must say my favorite pieces have got to be the Helly Hansen off-white collab and the Adidas palace collab. I'm just calling those pieces that because it makes it a lot easier to really like point out which one. I mean, I guess if I said Helly Hansen, you would know, but if I said the Adidas piece, you'd have no fucking clue because there's like three or four dope ass Adidas items in this thrift recap. Anyways, like I said earlier, if you want to purchase any of these items, make sure you check out hfv.bigcartel.com. That'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. And of course, go follow the official Instagram, which is HFV official, which is where me and Mr. Paul Cantu post all of our thrifted yoga Lane. And while you're following shit on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, which is at the Star Life. That will be somewhere on the screen and in the description below, like it always is with all of my social networks. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep living the Star Life.